Summit. The organization Aegis has expressed support for Utopia's offer to host a galactic summit for all three superpowers. Aegis was jointly formed by the Alliance, Empire and Federation to study the Tharkoids and develop new methods of monitoring and combating their forces. Professor Albert Tesro, head of research at Aegis, gave this statement. Humanity's focus on petty internal conflicts has blinded us to the existential threat of the Tharkoids. Their recent horrific attacks should be a wake-up call to the fact that defunding has crippled Aegis's ability to offer protection. We strongly entreat our founders to come together and channel resources toward Aegis, and particularly into research. There can be no hope of coexistence with this alien species unless we increase our understanding of them. No official responses to Utopia's proposal have been made as yet. However, Prime Minister Edmund Mahone, Princess Ashling Duval and Shadow President Felicia Winters have all signaled broad approval of the idea. There are reports that many congressmen, councillors and senators are pressuring their respective leaders to attend the diplomatic conference. Singuru Pranav Antal has confirmed that the governments of independent systems will also be welcome to send delegates to the Galactic Summit. However, Utopia's primary aim is to provide neutral territory for the Alliance, Empire and Federation to debate policies. Surface scan complete.
scan complete. Logical samples required by Colonia scientists. Pilots Federation alert. The Holloway Bioscience Institute in Colonia is offering high payouts for delivering samples from space dwelling life forms. The Holloway Biology Center on Colonia 7G is the organization's primary research laboratory, which specializes in xenological studies. Jacques Station, which is also in the Colonia system, has agreed to serve as the delivery point for this initiative. Chief Researcher Dr. Roy Casimir outlined the requirements. There is still a huge amount to learn about the fascinating structures that grow within the vacuum of space. As our stock of specimens is running low, we require fresh tissue samples from living organisms to continue our experimentation program. I appreciate that our facility is located a considerable distance from the core systems, 
but we're willing to offer generous reimbursement for those who make the journey. Pilots are requested to extract any type of tissue sample, including pod mesoglee, from any type of seed pod. These are to be delivered to Jacques Station in the Colonia system. Thargoids wreak havoc in nebulas. Starports in the Colsac and which had nebulas have been damaged during full-scale Thargoid incursions. An appeal by Aegis for anti-Xeno support led to a concerted response from the galactic community. However, the Thargoid forces proved to be overwhelming and have attacked systems within the nebulas with the loss of thousands of lives. Admiral Aidan Tanner, chief military liaison of Aegis, broadcast this message. Despite the heroic efforts of many pilots, the alien ships have resisted being driven from the Witch Head Nebula. Aegis's military capability and manpower are both severely limited as a result of curtailed funding from the Empire and the Federation. We have no choice but to rely on independent pilots and anti-Xeno squadrons as the first line of defense against the Thargoid threat. Core Dynamics purchases Lacon Spaceways. The shipbuilding company Lacon Spaceways has officially accepted a bid for ownership from federal corporation Core Dynamics. The proposal from Core Dynamics CEO Jupiter Rochester was ratified following a majority vote by Lacon's board of directors, many of whom were recently appointed following resignations demanded by shareholders. Trent Delaney, the new chairperson, confirmed the merger in a public statement. We are overjoyed that Lacon Spaceways will join the Core Dynamics family thereby overturning the mistakes of the previous management and setting us on course for a bright future. The transfer of ownership will take another two months to formalize. In that time, it will be business as usual for the manufacture and sale of our ships. The Federal Commerce Authority has approved the corporate takeover. However, the Independent Commission for Market Equality is still investigating reports of irregularities. The Council of Admirals has expressed concerns that a military supplier for the Alliance Defense Force should be owned by a federal defense contractor. Admiral Rachel Ziegler informed the Assembly, Regardless of our cordial relationship with the Federation, security issues will inevitably arise if the Alliance Chieftain and her sister ships are constructed by a foreign power. The ADF is already woefully underfunded, and this places extra strain on our ability to defend our interests. is scanned by 50%.
Surface scan complete. begins. The Alliance has entered a period of political campaigning prior to the election of a new Prime Minister. The appointment of a head of government takes place every six years, with the forthcoming vote scheduled for the 25th of February 3307. Unlike the Federation, there are no political parties in the Alliance. The Assembly is comprised of councillors who each represent the ruling faction of a member system. Electoral votes will be cast by these individuals rather than the public, but councillors tend to abide by the majority views of their constituencies. Edmund Mahone is the current Prime Minister, having been in office since 3301, and is campaigning for re-election. If successful, he will be the first to serve more than one term. There are several rivals challenging Mahone, but the greatest support is for Councillor Nakato Kane of Tionisla. She has become a rallying point for discontent among the Assembly, speaking out against the Alliance's increasing dependence upon corporations and other superpowers. At an emergency debate regarding the current wave of Thargoid attacks, Councillor Kane stated, Can we be surprised that the Thargoid race is launching fresh assaults against us when we brazenly invade their territories? Our obsession with meta-alloys has turned us into the aggressor. This is not the same alliance that I pledged to serve. It's time for a new direction. Thargoids attack Colsac and which head nebulas. Pilots Federation alert. Large numbers of Thargoid vessels are swarming through multiple inhabited systems, leading to urgent calls for assistance. In what appears to be a coordinated strike, Thargoid scouts and interceptors have appeared throughout the Colsac and Witchhead Nebulas. Local security ships have engaged them in combat, but report being overwhelmed. The Alliance has a considerable presence in these regions, with four starports recently constructed in the Colsac Nebula. But the Alliance Defense Force has not been able to mobilize in time to prevent some systems from becoming infested with Thargoids. Admiral Aidan Tanner, Chief Military Liaison for Aegis, made this announcement. This is a resurgence of Thargoid activity on a scale that we have not witnessed for a long time. Unfortunately, drastic reductions in funding and resources mean that Aegis is unable to provide adequate defensive measures. We urgently request support from independent pilots and anti-Xeno squadrons. It is critical that we prevent the Thargoids from dominating these nebulas and wiping out many thousands of people.
surface scanned by 50%. Thank you. 